Hi guys, I am back with a dip powder mani. So of course I have on my Luxe Nail Builder Gel and one coat of Hollow Taco Pilly Base for easy removal. So I will be using um, OG Dip Powder Dip Liquids from Etsy along with two dip powder colors. The first one is from Color My World Dips. This is from the Advent Calendar Day 11, Kiss Me at Midnight. And then later on I will be using um, at midnight by iGel Beauty. So guys, just hang out with me while I do this New Year's themed dip powder application. Okay, y'all, let me start by saying, number one, I'm out of frame right here. Get out of frame a few times in this video, my apologies. So this color is very, very pretty to me. It has, it's black, of course, as the base, but then it has what looks like silver foil flakes. And then it has like gold tinsel in there. And I was like, oh, this is so pretty. Of course, it reminds me of New Year's Eve, ball drop and all that stuff. So, um, I'm going to do two applications of that and once I apply the base and dip my finger or lay my finger flat in the powder, I use my finger to press it down so that I don't have any of those pieces sticking up. You guys will have to let me know if you have any special plans for New Year's Eve. For us, we'll be in the house and bring in the new year together if I don't fall asleep first but um yeah do you guys have anything special planned I sped up the part uh, or this clip with applying the uh, At Midnight by iGel Beauty. It's just a basic black. I just did one coat and I'm applying that with a pipette. Black dip powders can be very staining so you have to be careful. But I found that these wiped off pretty, pretty good. So I'm just applying At Midnight to my ring and my pinky finger. And look at my doggone thumb. My thumbnail is so doggone curvy. That thing curves to the, actually curves to the right. Um, I think it curves to the left but it curves 
layers down and to the right. Um, these are my natural nails, y'all. Um, my nails have come a long way over the past year. Uh, and it's because of builder gel it, it i contributed all to builder gel in combination with taking my vitamins consistently over the past year pl year plus um and drinking water and applying cuticle oil so i encapsulated my nails in clear off camera and i am using my medium bristle toothbrush to remove excess dip powder that uh, from the nail plate before i go in with activator and of course activator is what hardens the powder and in preparation for filing and buffing So after filing and buffing, I am just using water and removing any excess dust from my nails and my nail desk. I don't have my little tap, my little mat down. I put one down now. So I went in and applied iGel Beauty's base coat and cured for 30 seconds. And because I'm going to apply some gold chrome powder to my black nails, solid black nails, I am going in and applying iGel Beauty's chrome base. I love this stuff. Now, do you need chrome base? No, you can use a no wipe top coat and cure it for about 10 to 15 seconds and apply your chrome powder and then finish curing after that. So I'm going in with the Agile Beauty's chrome base and I'm going to cure for 30 seconds in my LED lamp. And once I cure, I'm gonna go in with Agile Beauty's, I think it's mirror light gold that I use. And I'm going to apply that to my nail and rub that in really well. So I'm just trying to make sure I get that chrome base as smooth as possible possible uh, because you don't want to have lumps and bumps you don't have lumpy bumpy looking chrome powder application which has happened to me and I can't stand it but I believe this one went on pretty doggone good now you can use your finger I am using an eyeshadow applicator or you can use a silicone tool to apply your chrome powder When you're applying your chrome base or whatever no wipe top coat you use, make sure you get it all over the nail. Because after I, you know, went back and looked at the footage and took my, looked at my pictures that I took, you know, I didn't have the chrome powder everywhere. There are um, around the cuticle area, free edge of my nail, and some on the side walls. The um, black is peeking through, and that's it's fine. Uh, but I just wanted to point that out because you'll probably see it before. Um, bef I what am I trying to say get it together so um, you can see it kind of peeking through on the side so after you do that you want to um, brush off any excess and then I'm applying top coat now when you are sealing your chrome powder in so let's say you weren't using peel off base coat you would you would want to apply two thin coats of the no wipe top coat to prevent your top coat from peeling and from that foil not foil chrome powder from chipping so just make sure that if you do chrome powder apply two coats of top coat now i could have left well enough alone but y'all know me, I got to be extra. That it is what it is. They're, they're nails. Why not decorate them? So I'm going in and using my same plate from the previous video. And I have a little flub bubs uh, here and there on this plate. Uh, it gave me a little hard time. But I end up, I think I pulled it off. 
it's a bit much but i like it i like it i thought it was cute now you may have a different opinion you guys will have to let me know in the comments what you think not don't be too bad if you think it's as ugly now that's just being mean but let me know what you think you guys know i like extra nails that's just me you might not like extra nails you could just do this and keep it simple with the chrome powder but i didn't do that I wish my numbers were a little bit bigger and more, um, how do you say that? More thicker, <laughs> more defined, um, or bolder. Let me say that. Well, I wish the lines were a little bit thicker on that plate to get uh, 2022. Now, y'all, I almost put 2021 on my nails. I looked, I said, Lord, I picked up a one. Somebody pray for me um I'm, I'm in the wrong year i'm trying to go back to 2021 nobody wants to do that um so i go in with a uh pointed i don't even know what you call those kind of q-tips but it has a pointy end those are good especially if you um have some is issues some uh-oh moments you need to clean up the pointed end makes it easier for you to get exactly to that area than a rounded q-tip so get you some of those pointed q-tips they're so good if you mess up your makeup especially if you're trying to do top eye eyeliner and you mess that line up it's a good way to get it off too but anyway so i'm going in and applying the year 2022 stamping can be a bit messy but in the end it was cute i thought so well you know y'all know i think a lot of stuff is cute so i'm going in and applying um there's some fireworks on that plate i'm going to apply that in the space on uh, that chrome nail as well So guys, I was using the, I don't know if those are sparkle cartons. I don't, know, I don't know what that is, but I applied it in black and white to my thumb. I have no idea what it is. I don't know if it's like the sparkles that fall down or what is it, streamers? I have no idea. So I stamped that in black, then I followed up and stamped it in white.
So after I cleaned up the excess stamping polish, I'm going in with a nail brush, iGel Beauty's Jewelry Gel, and I'm going to, before I cure the Jewelry Gel, I'm going to apply some iGel Beauty's Top Coat. What am I saying? So I decided again, extra, why not? Um, I'm going to apply the smallest of the rhinestone set. I got this off Amazon. I did not have any gold rhinestones. I was like, why do I not have gold? I don't know and it was hard to find I went looking for some after I did this uh, set of nails and I was like I can't find any not that I liked anyway so and the reason why I'm going in and applying top coat is because once I place my rhinestones and cure I don't want to have to go around the rhinestones to apply top coat and they didn't budge of course my nails did not last maybe they lasted two days before I noticed lifting and I just popped them right on off so um, most of my manis only last a day or so the only time I can get longevity in wear now if I use Revel Nails pull off base coat they ain't not budging I had to file those off but Dipalicious pull off base coat it gives me uh, longevity too like I mean I mean seven to 14 days and I'm not trying to have these nails on for 7 to 14 days I have to get ready and record another video so y'all I just randomly placed some rhinestones again extra and cured for 60 seconds in my LED lamp so I hope you guys like the finished look please let me know what you think leave a comment like this video help a sister out um so I'm just applying my favorite cuticle oil guys it's winter time you gotta hydrate your skin and your cuticles my my skin right now looks dust buckety but um i do apply lotion and cuticle oil every time i wash my hands and go to the bathroom but anyway so I hope you guys have a safe and happy new year